विनोबा भावे आफ्टर गांधी ऋषि विनोबा बाबा विनोबा हु गेव द स्लोगन जय जगत जय जनता जय जनार्दन द मासेज ऑन द वे एन आर्मी पीस आर्मी on march a man clad in dhoti walking briskly actively so fast that people keep pace with him with effort no weapons no pomp and show this is vinoba bhave this is baba vinoba sant vinoba acharya vinoba and this is after that gandhi who was father of nation father of free india known as mahatma gandhi bapu and here is the second half of the present century on dusty soils of india men leading an army army of masses non violent masses walking village to village but why where to for what after all good against the wicked a war going on body mind they are together body and mind for the west are together a complete concept but gandhi had proved with his non violent struggle vinoba bhave goes still further leads the tradition leads the hungry masses further not only to bread for body and mind but to the holy enjoyment of bread the spirituality the spiritual aspect of bread mind body together with soul a collective soul then produce with a sense of belonging belonging from individual to all collective sakal bhumi gopal ki the whole earth belongs to that that almighty soil air water space universe they belong to everyone everyone belongs to them this mission the group of these masses have got the idea understood it and now they are to realize it in truth and this bhudan vahini bhudan gangotri ganga of land gift gift of land from those who think they possess for those who are hungry and starve and with the fact that they do not have it now come together that was the spiritual revolution that was brought and led forward by vinoba bhave with that all are fired through and through the light jyoti vinoba speaks he talks as to a family he is a sage a philosopher a rishi who can see through india's past india's wisdom india's traditions who can see through the future for him life starts with basics fundamentals the individual has everything around him or her man or woman equal powers explore your environment nature is rich nature is plenty mouths are plenty hands are plenty but earth is also plenty you are competent just develop a feeling that you are one with nature look inwards you have power 
यू हैव एनर्जी स्वाध्याय स्टडी योर सेल्फ योर बुक्स योर स्क्रिप्चर्स बट रीड देम स्टडी देम प्रवचन टॉक अबाउट देम लिसन अबाउट देम मनन मेडिटेट थिंक अबाउट देम ध्यान मेडिटेट एंड कर्म बी एक्टिव एक्शन वन मस्ट रीड वन मस्ट टॉक वन मस्ट लिसन एंड डिस्कस बी इन ए गुड सो देन देर इज नो एनिमी देर इज नो क्लैश नो कोल्ड वॉर्स नो हॉट वॉर्स नो वेपन्स लेट अदर्स हैव ए पीप through your heart have a heart for hearts you will enjoy your bread one dies without bread but one dies with excessive and wrong bread also life is consciousness for your environment your best education system is that which keeps you at pace with political social technological circumstances keep yourself open with the flowing waters swim with the tide swim against the tide but but not with violence with non violence that is vinoba vinoba bhave who practiced all this philosophy social philosophy set up an ashram in pawnar govindan govindan ji who has worked with him who was a comrade a companion with him he is narrating to us some of his memories with vinoba bhave and he told us today is his birthday he narrates all this like a story who has seen history in being history in making that was vinoba's life Vinoba's birthday. He born on 11th September 1895 in uh, in a small village named Gagoda, which uh, uh, was in those days. Uh, now it is in Raigad district. in maharashtra some 70 80 miles away from bombay accidentally i had been here uh, on deepavali day father generally used to bring some sweets so the mother told today is deepavali your father will bring some sweets to you so he was he thought then as it will be a sweet when father came he gave a square a rectangular packet when he opened it was two books one ramayana and the other was bhagavad gita for children it was and seeing these two books vinoba was very happy he never thought that these books will be devali sweets when he was in baroda in the college in summer holidays he used to go to the library college library and take book 
and read. It was summer, so in the library hall he removed his shirt and began to read. Seeing the librarian came, uh, he didn't see decent, so he reported to the principal, and principal called him. Uh, he was sitting in a room, in a cabin, and uh, outside one was fanning him, uh, and uh, Vinoba was called. He got in the cabin and asked the principal, Do you know the manner? How to behave? He told, I know the manner of Indian manner. Then, what is Indian man? If any, anybody is called, we used to say, please sit down. <laughs> <laughs> then he told, yes, now you sit down. Mm -hmm. And why uh, don't you wear sh a shirt? Mm -hmm. He told, it is also a manner. India is a hot country. When so they, the people work in the uh, field, they do not wear shirt. They do not need it. It is not need. Mm -hmm. So it is, that is why I remove. It is natural. In those days, the exam for F.A. was not in Baroda. They have to appear in Bombay. So, uh, he uh, was going to Bombay. On the way, he wrote a small letter to his father that, I am not going to Bombay. I want to learn Sanskrit. I do not want to continue this kind of education. So I leave this education and go to Varanasi and I will learn Sanskrit. In the same year, that was in 1960. 1960. Uh, Mahatma Gandhi came to uh, Hindu Banaras University for a convocation. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, in, uh, in, in that, in his speech, he told, mentioned about ahimsa, non-violence. Mm -hmm. And Vinoba didn't go to, uh, uh, to the convocation in the university, but the next day he read the report of Mahatma Gandhi's speech. When he read about ahimsa, he had some doubt how it can be practiced. So he wrote a letter to Mahatma Gandhi. Please uh, advise me how it can be practiced. Govindanji had narrated with such an inspired way about Paunar Ashram that you have a wish to visit practically, going to India and seeing this ashram where from morning to evening everybody works, shramo pasana, dhyan, cooking, all these things are done like bhakti, like devotion. The ideology is lived through a simple way, simple life. Women, mostly women live here. They are sannyasinis. It's practically a ashram, an ashram for the sannyasinis, for the intellectual women. Vinoba had always emphasized on the inner power 
of Indian women. He worked with the inmates of ashram from tilling, from cleaning, inside the ashram, in the neighboring villages. He had gone there and with the women here, young and old from every religion, he had a relationship of an acharya, of a father, of a baba, and they are obeying him. His personality, the touch of his personality is seen everywhere. The ashram is planned in a symbolic way. It's very interesting story that when he was uh, uh, setting an ashram here in Paunar, which is formerly, according to Indian history, uh, an old kingdom of Pawans, he happened to find some old sculptures which according to archaeologists belong to uh, 5th century and they are kept in the temple here and this spinning, spinning is also a sacrifice, a collective meditation, going to a temple, going to temple of gods, working in the temple, work is also like a temple, like a puja, like meditation. They all spin and meditate. This is a routine inspired, idealized and practiced by Vinoba. And here once in 1978, Madalsa Behen, who comes from the family of Bajaj, uh, who were a witness uh, also in the transfer of powers in 1947, she had celebrated Vinoba Bhave's birthday in this ashram, his 85th birthday. Govindanji had also told us from this celebration. Vinoba was like a child. He was busy with sport, always doing something, always moving. He was mentally active, he was physically active. If not completely doing yoga asanas, he was doing asanas, he was doing movement also when seeing a dance in the temple in the ashram, the women around, Maharashtrian women presenting a mm, folk dance and Vinoba is also dancing with the children, playing with the children. He was a child with the children. He was a leader with the masses. That way he was a rishi. And here the women, early mornings, they have to till the ground and as he has set up the tradition. Work, physical labor, no work is small, he said. He went to the neighboring villages for cleaning work himself and he was a model, he was a picture for these inmates of the ashram. He's cleaning the soil, that is his shramopasana, his meditation with work. And all this experience, all this psyche, this consciousness, these thoughts have brought all these books. Now there is a publication and Govindanji has a duty selling books there on the counter. In the publication, in the printing press, women are working. All these publications are brought and sold at the counter and this money comes to the ashram.
whether you are working in printing press, whether you are working in the kitchen, whether you are writing books, whether you are going for lectures, whether you are going for communicating your ideas, all is work. All springs from your consciousness and work itself is a penance. Therefore, Param Dham Mudranale, this ashram is set up on the other side of Dham River. Dham River flows on one side between Pavnar and Vardha. For these lovely sunsets and mornings, Vinoba was nostalgic when he was in jail also. Once the jailer asked him, is there any problem, Vinoba ji? He said, yes, I am missing my sunsets, my sunrise. I am away from nature. And here, in collective ashrams, there are cows. Milk comes from your own dairy. And these cows are also members like human beings. They are treated like children, like human beings there. Morning begins with milking. And you eat all together in this collective kitchen. Simple food. Everyone cooks with turns. People from all religions and from different nations live there, from Japan, from France, from different parts of India, from different religions. And all these fruits and vegetables, they grow in the ashram. And on Vinobaji's birthday, this concept of light, from light, further light, this was arranged by Madal Sabahen on his 85th birthday. He is being greeted with lights. Jai Jyoti. traditions with light, a great man, a sant, a rishi, the one who shows you the way. He showed the way to the masses. Always keeping himself busy physically, mentally, in thoughts, keeping mind, body, and soul in one string, in one tune. And Govindanji, he took care of him. When he was tired, he gave him massage. And he's himself keeping his muscles alive, keeping his muscles in motion. This is how, with this routine, in the last years of his life, he lived in Paunar Ashram. Govindanji knows very intimate things about Vinobaji. Baba Vinoba, Madal Sabahan has started calling him Baba, father or grandfather. 
He takes part in every activity here in ashram. Although the government from Delhi, central government, they always came for a tip, for an advice to him, whether it was Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru or Indira Gandhi, the power, the government always sought his advice. They came to him, they greeted him. He was never a politician, just a part to lead the wheel of life further, as everybody does it. He did it, but he did it for others too, not living for him, his own self, he lived for others. That was his samyapath, that was the way of equality. And this is how with these symbolic names he had planned this ashram. There is Samyapath, there is Meditational Path, Dhyanapath, Karmapath, mornings and evenings, whether it is a celebration, they are all together. Meditating individually, eating together, to keep sharir dharma, body and mind and soul, these three to keep together. He was very restrictive in his diet, took only those things which were produced there in the ashram, which were the sole requirements of body. So simple, so deep and so one with the villagers around. The women and men dancing on his birthday in Paunar Ashram and he is witnessing all this like a child like a pure consciousness, like one with them and one from them. These tunes are traditional tunes and that is how he is Baba. Gandhiji started calling him Baba in the tradition of Tukoba, Bithoba, these tradition of saints in Maharashtra, otherwise his real name was Vinayak. Talking to the masses in Prarthana Sabha, in Prarthana gatherings, as if in a family, this is how Gita Pravachan, talks on Gita, came into print. He talked to people, he had thought about Gita and all this was taken into notes. And this all happened on the bank of Dham River. This ashram is going further and people like Govindanji take the tradition further. It goes on as Dham River goes on. together. 
body and mind for the west are together a complete concept but gandhi had proved with his non violent struggle vinoba bhave goes still further leads the tradition leads the hungry masses further not only to bread for body and mind but to the holy enjoyment of bread the spirituality the spiritual aspect of bread mind body together with soul a collective soul then produce with a sense of bay after gandhi rishi vinoba baba vinoba who gave the slogans jay jagat jay janata jay janardan the masses on the way an army peace army on march a man clad in dhoti walking briskly actively so fast that people keep pace with him with effort no weapons no pomp and show this is vinoba bhave this is baba vinoba sant vinoba acharya vinoba and this is after that gandhi who was father of nation father of free india known as mahatma gandhi bapu and here is the second half of the present century on dusty soils of india men leading an army army of masses non violent masses walking village to village but why where to for what after all good against the wicked a war going on body belonging belonging from individual to all collective sakal bhumi gopal ki the whole earth belongs to that that almighty soil air water space universe they belong to everyone everyone belongs to them this mission the group of these masses have got the idea understood it and now they are to realize it in truth and this bhudan vahini bhudan gangotri ganga of land gift gift of <laughs> भा 